Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentin Jr. and today I'm going to be unboxing Motorized Talking Diesel. I'm very excited because I finally got to get this when it was in Target last week. I unboxed Talking James on my dad's channel live. So we're gonna be testing out the talking features with both of them today. The packaging is very detailed. I love that it showcases the milk tanker. We have other engines on the back and I actually don't have Gordon or Thomas. So they literally showcase both of them here. It's funny cause Gordon and Thomas was actually in Target last time I saw the talking engines. Now it was Diesel and James, hopefully Thomas and Gordon are back there next time I go. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting Thomas just cause it's another Thomas, but I do like the Annie and Clarabelle feature. And I figured out recently from someone else's video that Annie and Clarabelle also talks to Thomas. So I thought that was pretty cool. Fuck the plastic, bing bang. Now we got the Peely plastic next. Please don't mind my broken nails. <laughs> I've had them on for a few weeks. Oh my God, oh my God, for Domelin. Now I figured out this plastic piece that's rubber banded together is actually pushing the pongs. There's pongs back here that make them talk to each other. Basically their interactive feature only happens when they're stopped. Actually, no, that's a lie. When any of them are driving and they actually honk or they whistle, all the other ones that are talking reply to them. So these talking engines are very interactive. <laughs> so here we have Diesel. I love that he has the red stripes on the side. It looks very industrial, very like warning sign-esque. The talking button on the top also fits with that aesthetic because it's white, black, and red. There's nothing that a diesel can't do. <laughs> Devious Diesel. Hello, Diesel. Oh, hi, James. What are you doing? I'm going for a wash. Oh my god, he replied from all the way over there. Another thing I noticed was that the range for them talking is so long and far. Because I tested it before when Diesel was in the box. I had James all the way across the room and had Diesel talk. And James replied when he was all the way at the back of the room and Diesel was at the front. I thought that was crazy. So here we have the whole train. We have a new cow. I actually needed this black and white cow because I wanted to do Mike's Whistle remake. And in that episode, it's a black and white cow. I actually have a brown and white cow over there, but I wanted it to be completely accurate. So I waited to get this diesel set. I could be a useful engine. Help. <laughs> He was going haywire. But for y'all who are saying that Cow and Thomas All Engines Go set is lazy, honestly, when I seen that, I was like, I actually need this set because I need more cows. <laughs> I really did think it was funny that the green track was supposed to be grass though. I was like, they could have made a mold for that, a little, a little grass mold or something. That part was lazy to me, but I was like, it's a nice little set. I don't know how much it's gonna be though. If it's like overpriced, then I'm like, no, this is definitely lazy, but we don't know the price yet. So hopefully it's like $10, which $10 is actually how much the the singular sets are with the regular all engines go motorized Thomas and Percy, the one where they have the little truck at the back. So hopefully it's 10, because I think that would be reasonable. We have the milk tanker, which this is what I was very excited for. I wanted this ever since the little pictures of the talking engines came out. This tanker is what I was most anticipating for. It has milk in it. It's literally transparent. This is like the first transparent tanker we've gotten in such a long while. I know that there's like strawberry tankers from way back then. We had water tankers ever since Trackmaster 1. Then we got the cow slate wagon, which it is muddy and stuff. The mud kind of looks pink. It also looked pink on James's back box van with the pigs in it. For some reason, the mud looks pink, not brown. <laughs> I like the detail in it. They actually detailed the slate wagons a lot more. In these recent slate wagon batches, uh, there's been like inside decals, all these little details in here. Guys, look at my cat, Kiara. Kiara, guys, look at my cat. Look at Kiara. She's so funny. Just here watching me unbox and a review. But here we have James. This is so cool. In the unboxing, I showed how they literally have removable coal. You could have it completely empty 
or a little bit empty with this dent here or just like completely full. I'm a very splendid engine. Hello, Diesel. Hello, friend. How did he know that diesel was in front of him though, out of all engines? I'm shaking and crying. So there you go. Once I get a bunch of the other ones, I'm gonna wanna have them all talk to each other cause these, these talking engines have so much in them. Uh, so anyways, like I was saying, these talking engines have so many different voice lines in them and so many different routes that they can take and like things that they can say they have all of the characters that are in talking edition right now built into them so that means i'd have to get the other ones for them to be able to talk to them now the only talking engine i'm worried about getting is the percy one because i'm gonna have to get that giant set in order to get percy huge and it's 40 dollars and i have too many tracks already <laughs> it does have bolstered though that's another reason i wanted it besides talking Percy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review and testing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these, and tell me what you think about these talking engines. I think they're really amazing because of how much features they have. They literally have lights, they have the talking feature, they talk to all the engines that are out with the talking feature right now, which is Percy, Thomas, Gordon, James, and obviously Diesel. I'm wondering if they'll be making a talking Henry and Edward in the future. I really hope so. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.